uh, Oliver Nixon. I'm a senior engineer within the powertrain team. Most of our products use the same ratio apart from the 765, which uses a shorter ratio. The main point of the gear ratios really is to give you access to more torque or to more speed. We have seven gear ratios and you have obviously the most acceleration at first and the least acceleration but the most speed in seventh. So because of the LT brand, we can make that gear ratio a little bit shorter. We get vehicle attributes we have to achieve, something called a T90 target, which is the time in which you receive 90% of the power and torque in the car. They said, okay, how small can we make this? Because the smaller we make that ratio, the more acceleration you will feel. However, that comes at the detriment of the top end speed. We need to achieve this, this top speed. So we went through three or four iterations of picking different ratios, testing them out in car, seeing how they felt, which was the most engaging before we ended up on the final ratio. In the 765, or all our LT variants, we use something called inertia push. This is when you're above a certain throttle percentage. Uh, instead of letting the engine slow down naturally um, and then changing to the next gear, because we have two clutches, we use the second clutch to slow down the engine and that makes the inertia of the engine get pushed into the wheels and gives you really kick in the back acceleration. This can be as much as 300 newton meters to 400 newton meters, but for an instantaneous split second, that really gives you good punch and a good power when you change the gear. So that really gives you the LT experience when you change gear. It feels like you're just jamming it into the next gear. Let's go, let's go. It really asks and begs for more.